to have 1, 2, 0, negative 1, 3, and negative 2. And we're going to multiply this by negative 2, 1, negative 1, 4, 0, and 1. All right, now let's look at the order. This first one right here, we have two rows, three columns. Therefore, this is a 2 by 3. This next one, I have three rows and two columns. Therefore, this is a 3 by 2. These numbers match, so we can multiply them, and my answer will be a 2 by 2 matrix. The meaning of the first, your meaning, your answer, the meaning, if there's a meaning attached with the first row, um, will be the meaning of the answer, and the meaning of the second column will be attached to this. And you'll see that when we get actually into these, like an actual example problem. That it actually, the meanings do have quite a bit of different, well, you have to know where to put all your meanings. So let's just multiply this. All right, so here we go. Coming up here, we have 1 and a negative 2. So we're going to multiply this whole row by this whole column. So we're going to do 1 times negative 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 3 times negative 1. I'm going to do this row again by the second column. So we're going to do 1 times 4 plus 0 times 0 plus 3 times 1. Now we're going to do my second row here. We're going to do this row times this column for my first term and this row by this column for my second term. So we're going to do 2 times negative 2 plus negative 1 times 1 plus negative 2 times negative 1. Now we do the second column in the second matrix here. We're going to do 2 times 4 plus negative 1 times 0 plus negative 2 times 1. And now we just do our arithmetic. When we do our arithmetic, we're going to end up with the answer of negative 5, 7, negative 3, and 6. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. All right, so let's look at an actual example problem, a word type problem that we will be working. Um, so let's just dive right into it. All right, guys, so I'm going to work number 34 in your packet. Uh, it reads, a manufacturer of electronic products, uh, electronics produced three models of portable cell phone chargers, which are shipped to two warehouses. The number of units of model I, so right off the bat it's telling me my I is my models. And of course I's are also going to be my rows. That are shipped to warehouse J, so I know my J are warehouses. And those are my columns. And it says it is represented by A sub IJ. So we know that when we go in there, we will label our columns and my columns in a row so we know what's going on. Then it goes on. It gives us this matrix. My matrix A is going to be 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 4,000, 10,000, and 5,000. Of course, these, row, this, these rows are, we'll just say this is model 1, model 2, and then model 3, because we know our eyes are our models, and we'll call this warehouse 1 and warehouse 2. So now I know that for model 1 and warehouse 1, there's 5,000 there, and for model 1, warehouse 2, there's 4,000 there. Um, so... As we go a little further into the problem, it says the price per unit is represented by the matrix B. So we have a matrix B, which is simply $39.50. Y'all know I make my dollar signs backwards. I've done it my entire life. I don't know why. Um, $44.50 and $56.50. And, of course, these are all just dollar signs. 
And what's really, really nice about this, these are the price um, per model. So this is model one's price. This is model two's price. And this is models three price. So those are the prices for each of those. Um, it tells it to compute BA. All right, so let's do that. B times A. Let's look at the order first. So when I come over and I look at B, I have a one column by, I'm sorry, one row by three columns. And my A, I have three rows by two columns. These match, so I can multiply them, so that's good. Here, I know that I'm going to get a 1 by 2 for an answer. Now, earlier I was talking about the meanings. Well, if we go back and look right here, row 1, what are the, in matrix B, my rows, my rows represent, it's going to be price per model is going to be my row, and then my column is going to be the columns from the second matrix, which is warehouse one and warehouse two. It's your warehouse one and warehouse two. So we'll actually be able to get the total price of inventory in each warehouse from these matrices. All right, so let's get to multiplying here. All right, here we go. So we're doing B times A. So we're going to do 3950, 5450, and 56,50. And we're going to multiply that by, of course, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, 4,000, 10,000, and 5,000. All right, so. We're going to have to multiply this row by each column. We're going to go ahead and get, we know that our matrix, when we're done with it, is going to be um, price per model. Price per model. And my answers will be warehouse one and then of course warehouse two, because that's my rows and my columns, so we know the meaning of our answers. So here we go. 39. 50 times 5,000 plus 44, 50 times 6,000 plus, let me move my warehouse to you, I'm going to need more space, plus 56, 50 times 8,000. And then we're going to have the same thing. We're going to do the same rows, 3950, but now we're going to multiply it by the second column times 4,000 plus 4450 times 10,000 plus 5650 times 5,000. And that would be the end of my 1 by 2 matrix, which is what we know is going to actually have from the last screen right here, the 1 by 2. We know my answer would be 1 by 2. I've done the calculations, calculated out to be a 1 by 2. Now I do is do my arithmetic. Uh, of course, we see that the row is my price per model, or really just my overall price, and my columns are each warehouse. So I know the actual price, how much money is in, I have in each warehouse. So when I do that, I actually get my answer to be 916500, so $916,500 in Warehouse 1. And in Warehouse 2, I'm going to have 8885500, which is 885. Eight hundred and eighty-five thousand five hundred dollars in merchandise and where and 
warehouse too. Now this is my total models, total price or total whatever the mon the money in the models. All right, so matrices really really interesting. We're going to get into other things. We're going to talk about rotation matrices. We're going to do mixing problems. I've got we got problems where we're going to do gross domestic product. Uh, a lot of different applications. Um, I had to take a class in linear algebra. Linear algebra is 100%. It's all about matrices. It was a great class. I hope you guys enjoy matrices as much as I do.